Hey guys, what's up? Today we are looking at solving a Bernoulli differential equation. And we know that this equation is a Bernoulli differential equation because y squared right here on the right hand side. So we know it's a Bernoulli differential equation because the the function or the the equation is nonlinear and it has a function on the right hand side y squared. So basically if you have something that looks linear on the left but then the right hand side has y to a power, then you know that it's a Bernoulli differential equation. So how do we solve a Bernoulli differential equation? So I, I usually follow these steps here. You know, you identify it as a Bernoulli, and then we make a substitution, u equals y to the one minus n. Well, n is just whatever this exponent is right here on your y. So n equals two in this Bernoulli differential equation. So that's our n value, and we make the substitution u equals y to the 1 minus n. Form the linear equation in u, solve the linear equation with the integrating factor, substitute u back in terms of y, and then solve for c if we have some sort of initial condition. But in this case, we don't have any initial conditions, so what we're going to do is we're going to just solve for the uh, solution and leave it in general form. So. We need to put this in standard form first of all, so let's rewrite it in standard form y prime minus 1 plus x over x y equals y squared. And it turns out whenever you make a substitution y equals or u equals y to the 1 minus n, so u equals y to the 1 minus n. Whenever you make that substitution to a Bernoulli differential equation, you're always going to end up with u prime plus 1 minus n p of x times u equals 1 minus n g of x. So that's always what our linear equation will turn out to be after we make this substitution. If you don't want to remember that, then what you can do is you could say, well, make this substitution and then find the actual derivative uh, dy dx in terms of u. And then substitute in y equals uh, whatever you get when you solve for y from this equation. So we can actually do that method. That way you don't have to remember this equation. But if you want to remember this equation, it's a lot easier. So here, p of x for us would be negative 1 plus x over x, and g of x for us would be just 1 right here. So if you want to highlight, this would be your p of x, and this 1 right here would actually be your g of x. So that's eventually what we'll get. So let's kind of show how we get there if we don't remember this formula. So u, in this case, is going to be y to the 1 minus 2, which is y to the negative 1, or we could say 1 over y. Now, what I like to do is I like to invert this and say this is y equals 1 over u, so that I can take the derivative a little bit more easily with respect to x to get dy dx by itself. So dy dx differentiating both sides with respect to x. u is a dependent variable on x, so I actually have to use a chain rule on, or an implicit derivative on the right-hand side, so that will be negative 1 over u squared du dx. And now I can substitute everything into my differential equation in terms of u. So y prime, or dy dx, is negative 1 over u squared times du dx minus 1 plus x over x. y, but y is 1 over u, so this is 1 over u, equals y squared, which is 1 over u squared. So 1 over u squared. Now, 
take that entire equation, multiply through by negative u squared. So basically that coefficient out front, I need to multiply the whole equation by that negative u squared. That way that leading coefficient will just be 1. So if I do that, I get du dx plus 1 plus x over x times u equals, let's see, negative 1. And that's exactly what we would get if we used our formula up here. 1 minus n is negative 1, so put a negative here. And then 1 minus n is negative 1, so this would be a negative 1. And then my g of x is 1. So I would get exactly this equation if I had used that formula. All right, so that's our linear differential equation. So now we need to solve this using the integrating factor. So let's solve this using the integrating factor. So our integrating factor is going to be e to the integral. I'm going to write this as 1 over x plus 1 dx. So that's going to be e to the natural log x plus x, which I can say is just x, e to the x. So that's my integration factor. So actually I can write this as d by dx of integration factor e to the x times x times u equals a negative x e to the x. All right, so now we integrate both sides with respect to x. Integrating both sides with respect to x, I have uh, integration by parts on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, nothing really happens. I just get x e to the x times u. But on the right-hand side, I have an integration by parts that I need to do. So I'm going to create a tabular integration, u dv. So I'll put uh, negative x right here. I'll put e to the x right here. I'm going to differentiate this column down to 0, integrate this column, and then multiply the diagonals. So this is going to be negative x e to the x plus e to the x plus c. And now all that's left to do is solve for y in terms of x. So, all right, so that's our equation. If we solve for u, we get u is equal to negative 1 plus 1 over x plus c over x e to the x. So, what do we know though? We know u is equal to 1 over y. So, 1 over y equals this right-hand side. So y equals the reciprocal. So y of x will be the reciprocal 1 over negative 1 plus 1 over x plus c over x e to the x. And that is a perfectly good answer as far as I'm concerned. So let's kind of box that in as our answer. But you may want to Multiply top and bottom by x e to the x if you don't like denominators in the denominator. So another answer you might see would be something like y of x equals x e to the x in the numerator over, let's see, what would that give us in the bottom though? That would give us like c minus x e to the x plus e to the x. So something like that would also be an equivalent answer. Either way, that's how we solve a Bernoulli equation.